This is AP Look, and you're watching Run That Media, huh? She a popper, pop. a homie hopper. Pop. Come on, my nigga, a wedding with echo stopper. She a popper, pop. a homie hopper. Oh, What's cracking? Yo, yo. Let me turn that off before you sue me for copyright infringement. <laughs> yeah, so I was bumping that track. It's produced by Temper Slaps. Uh, she's a bo- she a bopper, AP featuring Danny Cash and Lishup. I always fuck that one up. I've seen his name around. <laughs> Is it Lishup or Lishop? Lishup, the flood god. Lishup. So I had it right the fucking the first time. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the people. Yo, I go by AP. AP, look. You're from um, what city are you from? I'm from Salinas. Okay, so um, on some Salinas shit, AP. That's what I think it is. Nope, it's not, and that's what everyone thinks. I was gonna it say, is. are you? Is that is that is that is that your hood now? Nah, I ain't from I ain't from no hood. I'm from Salinas, and that's it. Okay, that's what's up, man. Hey, I respect that. Um, yeah, now nah, I got I get that a lot too and shit, but it's a it's a long ass story. But I might as well just put it out so everyone for fucking stop asking me, but. It was just a, it was a, when I was an incoming freshman and shit back in the days going to high school, um, my cousin, whose name is Anthony, fucking was a out, uh, outgoing senior. So I was an incoming freshman. He was, gra- he was already graduating and shit. So me coming into school and shit, all the supervisors and teachers thought I was my cousin and started calling me Anthony and shit. And my last name's Perez. So all my homies and shit just thought it was a joke and shit and started calling me Anthony and kept fucking around and shit and called me AP and all that shit. Anthony Perez and then fucking it just stuck. and just rolled with it. All the football, all my football coaches and all that shit. All the teachers started calling me AP. So I just stuck with it. <laughs> yeah, fuck it, man. That's what's up. Um, I just, I was just, cause yeah, cause that was my first impression. The AP, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like AP. I'm like, he must be from, uh, from the plaza. Okay. Well, that's yeah. what's up, man. So, um, so uh, how old were you when you, uh, when you first started rapping? Uh, probably like, uh, probably like in eighth grade and shit. Probably like fucking, what is that? Like 2004? Bullshit rapping though. Like I was doing like parody raps and shit, like comedy and shit. Oh, like was, it was, oh, you were writing serious. I was doing remix, remixes and shit. I don't know if you remember the, the group called The Pack. We got my vans on, but they look like sneakers. So back in the days and shit, me, I would remix all their shit like, I would, uh, they have a song like um, I have a song it's like Mommy Hello My Piss Is Yellow and they got a song like Mommy Hello Make It Wiggle Like Jello <laughs> oh okay so you were doing like remixes to, I was doing to... little parody rap yeah a little bullshit and shit and I was recording yeah. off a of fucking uh, off a of fucking uh, big ass old school computer and my homie would fucking download these fucking free fucking recording uh, softwares and shit online and shit and we would just plug in the fucking xbox fucking headset and shit into the fucking computer and record ourselves and bullshit oh uh, yeah well even at, even at the family you know christmas eve parties with the karaoke machine at night and coming out and shit you know when as a little kid get on that yeah so so you've been rapping for quite some time um how many uh how many projects have you put together now not necessarily like marketed and really put out there the way you wanted to but how many projects have you like put together like would you say a rough estimate projects as in like you know albums or singles and shit i think well, sick, i take singles as projects too you know yeah well i mean yeah. now now that's the new normal now is is singles because um yeah. there, there's there's a huge market for it and the people's attention span is so fucking yeah short. yeah well I, right now so i'm on a song. big single i'm on a big single hype because you know i mean i'm trying to get my name out there right now with me not being known as shit, if I put out a mixtape with me not being known, people are only going to listen to the fucking, the first track and then the second track's going to get a little less plays and it's going to get less and less plays, you know, because I ain't shit yet. And I mean, so that's, so much, that's the strategy, bro. That's a good strategy that you're, that you're fucking, so that just, you're running Right now, with. I was on that every three days, I was putting out singles every three days just so people see that I'm working, you know, and people that fucking make music actually know that it costs a lot of fucking money to get in that studio and be, get beats and shit. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm man. in there working. Yeah, yeah, no, no doubt. And I see you're working with the right people too. You're fucking with Temper Slaps over there. Um, yeah, he's got a, he's got a, right now. Well, I'm actually, well, back to the projects and shit. Well, I, I started taking it serious, serious and shit probably about two years ago and shit. Um, started like re- putting my shit out like on YouTube and uh, like and all that shit. I got a little D show kid. Oh, I'll get to that later, but fucking, um, fucking, um, I started taking it a little serious. If uh, I got hella projects, I got an album. Uh, one of my boys, Caveman, it's called "The Tale of Two Deadbeats." 
as an album that's out on, on iTunes and all that shit. Um, that's a it's a 14 track album, little album. And then fuck, I got I got hella fucking singles, but I stopped posting them on my on my uh, digital kit and shit and putting it in storage because I fucked up and put um, last well, it just expired about a week ago. So last year when I fucking made it, I fucking put AP look in the in the look. I put zeros instead of O's. So people, it was hard for people to fucking search me. You know, they had to put. Oh the man, videos. something something little like that will fucking yeah, make bro. it so hard to find you because yeah, I've been yeah, in yeah. situations where I'm trying to find somebody and any little yeah. like even a space in the wrong spot can kind of fuck. So you I was up. like, damn. I was like, I was so so. I only put like six singles out on that issue kid and shit with that album. But fuck, I was like, I'm not gonna put, put, keep putting shit out there. I'm gonna let this shit expire, and when it does, I'm gonna put my catalog out there on that shit. So, yeah, I seen you've been working. I seen you've been doing projects, and you know what? To be honest with you, like the, like, the big reason why I was like, I'm gonna reach out <laughs> to this guy, right? Yeah. Was because you're putting shit out, right? Yeah. And and another one is because I see you collabing with a lot of different people. Oh yeah, I'm going and big right now. I'm like it because I like right, that because uh, because right now in the A31, everyone's egos are too big and shit. You know what I mean? They. Yeah. They don't. They're afraid to go hit someone up and be and shit because they're they think you know like fuck that they they're like competing against them and shit. Me, I'm just like hell no. Nah, I want these mother. I know they're harder than me. Let's get yeah. these motherfuckers out here. Yeah, man. I'm the same way, man. I try to get people to rap better than me all the time. I'm like, please, please rap <laughs> better than me. Like, I want to make a dope song. Like, if it's gonna make the song better than you coming harder than me, then please do that. Like, yeah, yeah. I like I like to work with people too, but <laughs> at the same time though, um, you know, I do keep my circle small. Yeah, because, you know, um, I don't I don't know if you're aware, but this could get into my next question. Um, have you ever been dissed <laughs> Has a rapper ever yeah, dissed I, you in the song? I don't know. Unless it's just a sneak diss and I don't know about it. Because <laughs> this is a common this is a reoccurring theme like for for, yeah. for rappers like and I'm going to ask all the people that I get in here if you've ever been dissed because uh, most I, of the time it's yeah. Most of the time people will be like, you yeah. know what? Yeah, there was this guy who, <laughs> you know, it, I, it, it always but, starts um, off like on some shit like that. So that's why I just want to ask. <laughs> nah, uh, not that you know of. I don't know. Nah, not that I know of. I don't know of any disses out there. Shit. Okay. Well, maybe they see your name and they see you're a big dude and they're like, man, I ain't trying to diss this. Well, I ain't here. dissing him. That's cool, man. That's 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 a, that's re hater repellent. That's called hater repellent nah, right there, shit. man. I need and, those haters, though. Yeah. No, I mean, you know what? Uh, the the What do they say? Any publicity is good publicity. Any, yep. So if people are saying bad things, I mean, at least people are saying something. Uh, right? At least that means they're, they're, they're saying because they heard the song. <laughs> Shit, that's all yeah. I needed. Yeah, I know. But so anyways, yeah. So I seen you and I seen you putting stuff out and I'm like, hey, you know what? I like that, man. That's cool. Like I seen you got a, a Jazzy J and oh, no. uh, and Danny, Danny Cash, I believe his name is right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I just I mean, for me, being from the eight through one, I don't see a lot of unity. But when I do people see people coming together yeah. on some shit. Yeah. I'm like, man, that's fucking dope, bro. Like, I fuck with him. That track's going to be on her album. <laughs> yeah, that track's going to be on her album. Yeah, that right? track's supposed to be on her. Yeah, it's going to be on her album. She had oh, okay. Up so she got like, you uh, on the track. Hey, I got one more. I got, I got a stop. Yeah, she got me. She wanted She wanted to hit me get on a collab, and I was like, hey, I want to get on this shit. Uh, at the time, I was going to go to the studio and record something for her. I had Danny Cash with me, and then fucking, I was like, hey, fucking, just get on this shit with her. <laughs> so I just pretty much threw him on there. I see that you're working with, uh, 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 primarily from what I've seen, I've seen you rap on mainly two producers, C500 and Temper uh -huh. Slaps. Um, are there any other producers that you uh, that you work with out here or that you're getting uh, off of or well, from, anywhere, from anywhere? Out here, out here and there's them two pretty much. Uh, um, but I am trying to get something from uh, what is it, C. Fleazy. He's out here at Solid Dad too. Um, I need to get some work from him. And then um, I was some dude, uh, EOJ Cipher. I was getting beats from him. He's from out there in the Sacramento area. And uh, fucking uh, Seventeen. He's from Lithuania. I got a couple from him. And then H O K T Y. That's dope, man. You got a nice but, little fucking arsenal but, right there. I mean, I got those beats and shit, but like, I'm just trying to right now. I'm trying to just work with just a three one shit, you know. So that's why I've just been fucking with Temper and C five hundred, so we can all get out there, you know. Yeah, yeah. I started following uh, recently the uh, C five hundred, um, and I see he's got a fucking shitload of beats that he be posting on Instagram, man. He's got a bunch of beats. So anybody watching this, if you need some beats, follow 
C500 and go through his page and just go through. He's got a bunch of beats. Temper Slaps, he's got a bunch of fucking beats on his page as well. Um, yeah, man, that's dope. That's dope that you're, you know, that you're working locally. Have you got a chance to perform locally? Yeah, um, I just did that uh, at the Taste of the Pinnacle, the one that Young Mac and his fun look hosted. Oh, okay, you was at that one. I didn't have a, I didn't have a full set, but my boy, the magician, uh, he had a, I had a track with him, and then he got me on it right there with him. So oh, I performed right there, and then uh, a couple of years prior to that, I performed at um, JC Lokes. He had a little, a little birthday, I think, bash uh, performance thing right there on Ryder and Salinas and shit. That's dope. How do you like performing? Or do you not I like performing? I, I need to perform. I need to perform more because I, I get nervous up there. <laughs> yeah, now we all do, I, I, I do get that tunnel vision and shit. You know, like I'm, I'm out there and I'm just looking zoned out and straight nothing. <laughs> yeah, shit. I was going to, um, well, I was, another question I like to ask people, weed or alcohol? Or uh, neither? Or neither? I say both shit. Okay, so. Cause that's why I want to ask you that one because so when you perform, how do you perform? Uh, sober, lit? Nah, nah, I, 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 both. I'm, so, I'm lit and I'm, I'm lit and buzz, but I don't do no, I don't do no liquor and shit. That shit fucks me up. Only beer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And another question. So when you do perform, um, are you rapping live or are you rapping over the song? I'm rapping over. I'm rapping live over the song. Oh, shit. No. Well, I consider live like um. You're rapping and there's no lyrics. It's just the instrumental. Oh so no, if, no! So I, I, you I, fuck I, I, up. I, I, there's nobody. There's no, no reminder in the background yeah, no. like, of the song. No, I do. I do have my lyrics, but I have it. I have it low. I don't have it uh, higher than my my main. Okay, but so I don't know if you're aware of this, but okay. So in the underground hip hop community, that's heavily frowned upon. I know. I know. I'm very aware. So I'm just. <laughs> so you are aware. Okay, I'm just wondering if you're aware I, now. Yeah. Now, now well, here's do, the thing. I, now here's now here's where I stand, bro. Here's where I stand. I don't give a fuck. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If people want to rap over this shit, hey, they want to rap over this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you want to rap live, then rap live. To me, I mean, it's like so many mainstream artists. You're paying three, yeah. four hundred dollars to go see. They're rapping yeah, yeah. over their songs. You know what I'm saying? Nah. So, yeah, so, totally so it's like, that. what does it really matter? I mean, it, and you know, I'm not a hip hop purist by any means. So. Fuck all that shit. Like I don't care, but yeah. to me, I don't give a fuck. But I, but you're aware <laughs> that some cats are like, man, we gotta rap live, bro. Guaranteed, I know. Because guaranteed, I know I'm fucking up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like I said, though, I mean, if you want to just go and you want to like focus more about the performance aspect, yeah, you know, you might want to get a little tipsy so you can just get loose and just go up yeah, there and yeah, wild out. And you don't want to have to be all worried about oh shit, if I fuck up my line. You know, yeah. I don't have a hype man here to back me up and everybody's yeah, yeah. going to know that I'm fucking up because that's my my biggest fear always about performing has always been. Am I going to fucking forget my lyrics and just stand there like. <laughs> oh, you choking. They wait for the hook to come in and then be like, <laughs> they just try to go to the second verse. Now, yeah. man, I hate that shit. I want to be I'm, I, 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 I rehearse and uh, I like to be prepared, but I just yeah. wanted to ask if you rap over your shit. Hey, man. Fucking no harm, no but foul. But I, I haven't, I haven't performed much. But I need, I, I want to perform more and shit. Yeah, and get out there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's you know, it's good to have the practice. But um, I mean, bro, don't ever feel no kind of way about whether you do yeah, it. Yeah, you, nah, you know yeah. what I'm saying, bro? Just yeah, yeah. focus on the music like you're doing now. <laughs> and if you do shows, just have fun with it, bro. That's all I can yeah. tell you, bro. Like, fuck all yeah, the dumb yeah. shit. Fuck all the technical shit and the rules and people's opinions yeah. bro just have fun with that shit and that's pretty much where it's at bro so you said that you've been putting out singles yeah and then I, um i got an album dropping um christmas eve it's okay. gonna be called a gift from me to you and that's what i'm gonna start doing it's gonna be an annual an annual album for me so next year next christmas eve you know i'm gonna drop this uh volume two and shit you know but this one's gonna be all produced by temper I got hella collabs on this thing. Like, I got, I'm getting people who would, who wouldn't even ask to collab with. You know, like, hey, I'm gonna make it happen. And like a little A and R kind yeah. of shit. <laughs> yeah, that's dope, man. That's dope. Um, yeah, yeah I want to get Temper on for an interview too. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I reached out to him too. So hopefully, hopefully that shit's in the works. Um, 
up there because I've been working with him a lot. I told him, man, go put me out there too, man. Shit. <laughs> yeah, nah, he's got some shit. He's got it all too. He makes yeah, like he's making some dope ass beats right now. Yeah, he makes um, I think he does <laughs> graphics too, right? Yeah, he does all my cover. He's done all my covers. He's done all my he does all my engineering right now as well. And um, he does all my beats right now. He does he's a one-stop shop for me. Growing up, you grew up in 831, right? In Salinas? Yep. Yeah, born and raised. So growing up, um, what type of music did you listen to? Dude, I fucking listened to everything. My dad was my dad was the guy that fucking everybody, all my friends, everybody came to our house to and he made them CDs. So he had all the line wire, the bear share, the fucking <laughs> You know, all the Napstar. <laughs> he had all the fucking... Your uh, pops, huh? Your pops is yeah. on that shit? Yeah, my pops was on that shit. And my dad, he listened to everything. You know, and then fucking... When my parents were together when I was growing up, when they were together fucking, you know, on the weekends when it was time to clean, it was always the fucking, you know, the freestyle in the house music, that DJ shit. And a fucking... um, And he fucking boy, you know, Easy E, Boys in the Hood. Fucking, he liked Barrington Levy, fucking Don Carlos. I was everywhere. The fucking freestyle, oldie. Yeah, but so fucking, that's oh, cool. But I was growing up, but then when I got started getting into fucking like into into music and shit, you know, it was always like in in elementary, Fifty Cent, and all that shit. And then middle school, I started getting into fucking the Mac Dre's and shit, the fucking Sally Sal and fucking and all that. The uh, who was who was the first local rapper? That you like discovered was like from the eight three one. Oh shit, this guy's from the eight three one. Like, if you could remember, I'm just curious. Like, like growing up, shit. Uh, yeah, growing up, when you heard about your first eight three one rapper, you're like, oh snap, this guy's from here. I would say, I would say my homie Young Gun. Young Gun. Yeah. Okay. Fucking my in my like my little my half cousin. His stepdad is Young Gun, so I would always Young Gun was always right there in the studio as me growing up and shit, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's dope. Have you ever uh, met? Have you ever worked with Young Gun? Nah, but I, I told him I wanted to get him on this album, so I have to send him a file ASAP. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. Man. Yeah, I already hit him. I, I hit him up a couple times. I'm just lagging on sending the file because I'm I'm trying to get that right fucking you know that right feel for him because I know he's on that fucking he sound he got that brother Lin Hung type of T Nutty Nut shit. <laughs> Yeah, no, he's been uh he's been doing music out here for a long time. He's one but of that was, um, um that was, I think that was the first one I, I knew just growing up and shit. But then um yeah, I think that was the first one shit. Yeah, he was then, putting but, that stuff out for a long time. Yeah, and then I and then I started hearing more and and oh and oh like in fucking you know oh seven, oh eight, oh nine and shit when I was in high school, all you know, all Sally Nettles and all them kids, people's martinez and all them coming out. Oh yeah, yeah. People's Martinez. Uh, did you ever meet him in person? I didn't, but um, you know that was, that was my cousin uh, Angelo. Angelo is a fucking homie and shit. So fucking, he would always talk about him to me. And shit. He's the one that put him on the fucking rap game. Yeah, I was um, I was at a party. I was at a party one time on the east side. I was with uh, my baby's mom at the time, and her friend, her friend had some type of party or some shit. I forgot what it was exactly. And uh, uh, and Peoples was there. Peoples Martinez was there. And he was all fucking faded and shit. <laughs> and uh, and he was freestyling, you know. Everybody was like, had him freestyling, you know. And they were like, they were trying to tell me, like, her and her friends, like, why don't you go rap with them? Go freestyle. <laughs> you rap too. And I'm just like, I don't fucking, I don't freestyle like that. Like, I, I'm cool with all that shit. And, uh, and you know, he was fucking, he was, you know, he was doing his thing and shit. He was fucking faded. Uh, yeah, yeah. people's was faded and uh and then i think um i don't i don't know how 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 long afterwards but i was reaching out to him cuz i was going to get him on a track yeah and uh and it never ended up happening and then i guess yeah. a few years later but i mean i never really got a chance to like hang out with him or get to know him really but um yeah, yeah. i tripped out though when i when i checked out his music because he was at the party and you know, he was telling everybody, you know, oh, people's martinis look me up and this is that. Yeah. He was all faded. He was fucking, he was telling everybody there that that he rapped <laughs> and this is that. And I mean, you know, I'm just there just listening. You know, I wasn't even drinking. I was the designated driver, as a matter of fact. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just there smoking, getting blazed out, just listening to this shit. I'm just spectating, you know. <laughs> and uh and yeah, it was uh 
you know, it was pretty cool. You know, the motherfucker was at the party fucking getting in and shit, uh, and uh, yeah, yeah. you know, get get uh, you know, having a good time. But yeah, you know, um, yeah, I think years later is what ended up happening. He ended up passing and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you said people, you said the Sally Nettles. Um, Sally Nettles. Yeah. Have you ever worked with them on anything? Uh, me and my cousin Angelo, um, fucking, uh, we got we got fucking Hala music. We fucking, he's the one that brought me back into the music scene probably about two years ago. Fucking. So Angelo's a part of the Sally Nettles? I don't think so. No, nah, I don't think he's a part of Sally Nettles. He's on his own fucking little Angelo. He does. I think he's his own little fucking. He, well, he stopped and shit. I need to get it. I'm trying been trying to get his back his ass back on and shit. <laughs> he stopped. He stopped making music. Yeah, he started making music, but yeah, maybe he's just taking a little break, or maybe he got some shit on the on the low. I don't know, but I, I know we ain't got nothing together in a while. But he's, me and him are fucking. He's got three albums right now. You ain't on nothing. <laughs> Under a, a whole new name, <laughs> probably. Yeah. He started a he whole changed, new character. He changed his name and everything. He's got a new name and everything. Nah, but um, like yeah, like when I was saying when I started taking it about serious about two years ago, shit, I was like I was struggling and shit. I was looking for a spot to stay, and me and him were working together. And fucking, he he uh, he's like fucking. I got the futon right here in the studio. Where he had the studio right there at his fucking house. Yeah. So fucking every day after work, we were always right there in the studio and shit, just posting and shit. And you know, I was always around right there. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna get back into this shit too. I'm right here. So yeah. me and him every every day after work, but we draw the album music. I think we got like fucking fourteen or fifteen tracks on the USB that Tech has right now. But fucking, I was like, I don't know. I'll wait till we put that out or something. If you could work with any artist on a song, dead or alive, who would you collab with? The dream collab. Damn. Fuck, that would be a... I'd say Mac J. That's a good one, man. Can't go wrong. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that one. He's a jack of all trades, man. <laughs> he got whatever yeah. kind of beat you want, he can hop on that bitch. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. Well, yeah. shit, man. Um, hey, man, I appreciate the interview. Uh, it oh, was yeah, nice man. meeting you too, bro. Because I've never talked with you, but um, I've been seeing what you're doing, bro. Wish you the best of luck. You know, in this, in this crazy ass music shit. And when somebody disses you, let me know, man. Let me hear the song. Uh, damn, hey, if someone somebody's disses gonna, me too, eventually someone, somebody's gonna I, diss you. You better let me know too if they diss me too. I'm somebody's gonna out. diss you. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Hey, I'll let you know when somebody disses you. It's hey, gonna man, happen. I, I appreciate you having me on this interview. My first interview, though, I liked it. Hey, uh, Christmas Eve, though, my album's dropping, so everybody go get that. Okay. And oh, and and just let the people know, uh, where can they find you? And and how do you spell your name so they could know how to find you? (laughs) Well, I got my, I'm going to, you can find me on on Instagram right now, AP, look, A-P-L-O-O-K, underscore, underscore, so two underscores, AP, look. And then uh, right now I'm fixing up my D show kit and shit right now, but it's gonna be also A P look, A P L O O K. Okay, and your music will be streaming when you get it all up and running. Again. Yeah, right now it's all on. It's all I got everything on YouTube right now. So if you want to go slap that, it's all on YouTube. Uh, it's under A P look A three one. You'll find everything from so many collabs from the A three one on that motherfucker. <laughs> okay. Cool. But anyways, yeah. man, yeah, once again, man, thanks again for uh, for the interview. Yeah, yeah man, Till next time, bro, take care, man, and don't work too yeah. hard tomorrow, bro. Take it easy, man. All right. Thank you, brother. Right, I appreciate it, man. All right, bro, peace.